Starship Booster 7's 33 Raptor 2 engines rock the Earth. A new orbital flight profile is submitted to the FCC. Falcon launches more Starlink satellites, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. Less than a day ago, SpaceX conducted another test of Booster 7 down at the Starbase Orbital Launch Pad. But unlike the others, this one brought the heat and then some. Video courtesy of our good friends at Lab Padre. Let's see that in an instant replay. Check out the shockwave and its effects on the chopsticks. Do you even steroids, brah? The slightly noticeable explosion, coupled with the fact that advance notice was not sent out to any locals like previously done for all other static fires, gave veteran viewers a reason to suspect things weren't exactly homeo, Holmes. You know, homeostasis. A non-rocket science word for nominal. However, the butt belch did happen at exactly 4.20 local time. Coincidence? I think not! And Elon did tweet a since-deleted twat that this was done on purpose. Then later following up with, yeah, actually this was not good, team is assessing damage. Early indications indicated, as if it wasn't fairly obvious, that the igniting of the surrounding cloud of vlox and methane had something to do with the explosion. But the rocket has a lot of sensors that are supposed to detect this. Moving forward, they'll be burning off any leaks as they happen, so a cloud of death won't accumulate. They won't be spent starting the turbines of all engines at once. About an hour later, a dump of liquid oxygen created a catalyst for some nearby ground support equipment to light up as well. Luckily, the fire eventually put itself out. Elon went out to the pad a few hours later last night with some high-tech inspection equipment, a flashlight, and reported the base of the vehicle seems hunky-dory, a technical term he didn't use. We shut down the pad for the night for safety. We will know more in the morning. So to sum up, this small nuclear detonation wannabe was caused by just starting up 33 engines. Again, can't wait to see an actual static fire. We'll see if the current road closures hold, but I doubt it. The good news is, in a worst case scenario where Booster 7 has to be taken out of the lineup, Booster 8 was fully stacked last week. So SpaceX's next victim is almost good to go. The benefits of thinking ahead. And speaking of thinking ahead, SpaceX resubmitted their flight plan to the FCC for the first orbital launch to include deploying a flock of version 2 Starlink satellites which will include a partial return of the booster to splash down off the Boca Chica coast or an actual catch attempt by the launch tower. The upper stage Starship vehicle will still perform a targeted landing in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. Multiple Starlink terminals will be fitted to each vehicle to ensure a clear view of the satellite constellation through the flight profile. And speaking of Starlink, on Sunday evening, SpaceX launched its first 46 Starlinks to the third orbital shell. The Falcon 9 rocket licking some clouds on its way out of Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. These polar launches will enable complete coverage of Earth, asterisks, where approved by local government. This was the booster's sixth mission, magically reappearing on the drone ship, of course I still love you, like a gaseous Houdini. Do you like magic? Not really, no. <laughs> then you are in for a treat. <laughs> And now I want to talk to you about our sponsor, My Patriot Supply. If you haven't been paying attention to non-SpaceX news lately, trust me, you will soon enough. Because the high prices all of us are encountering at the grocery store, gas station, or even charging station is only leading to more destabilization. Sri Lanka has been turned upside down this month after the cost of gas drove food prices to unsustainable levels. Dutch farmers are protesting hard against the nefarious Great Reset agenda their government is forcing upon them. The entirety of Europe in general is now rationing what they have. Meanwhile, stateside, Brandon is sending our reserve oil to our enemy because he loves his crack and prostitute addicted son, even though Hunter calls him <laughs> pedo Peter behind his back. And like inflation, energy has a direct influence on the price of goods, which includes food. All prices are going up. Please don't be that father or husband with his head buried in the sand. Be the guy or gal, science indicates there are only two options, who is dependable in a time of crisis. Visit preparewithspace.com and order your emergency food kit today. Each kit comes with a variety of meals that will provide you with over 2,000 calories per day. And if you have kids, you wanna buy more than one kit, ideally one kit per person in your household. This food storage is delivered in rugged containers with a shelf life up to 25 years, making them perfect to store away out of sight until the day you choose to use them. Hopefully you never have to out of necessity, but man, things are looking pretty serious, guys. Right now you can save $150 off a three month emergency food kit and they do ship to Canada. Yeah, as things are getting crazier, I'm seeing the response reflected in my sales. Every month, more of you are choosing to invest in this little peace of mind, which is reassuring. So thank you for making, in my opinion, a wise decision 
and supporting the channel at the same time. But for those of you who haven't placed an order and can afford to do so, I implore you to seriously consider it. That's preparewithspace.com. But now it's time for today's honorable mention. As Booster 7 was acting out for attention, NASA released the first official photograph taken by the James Webb Telescope. Well, technically Joe Brandon and his fake as f first VP woman to blow her way into office revealed it because, come on, the 30-odd percent approval rating could use some good publicity. Are you ready? Yay! That's what $10 billion in taxes will buy you. All those colorful specs, galaxies and stars, 4.5 billion light years away. Amaze balls. But not even the furthest image ever taken, just the clearest. And that's all I'm going to report to symbolize how the media was rushed out of the room after only 10 minutes, because as you know, that entitled c Jill won't let Joe take questions from the press. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, okay? And thank you supporters for watching my six during this era of cancel culture. Love you long time. Until our next one, Godspeed.